In this video, I'm gonna give you 30 content ideas for you to create video for your business. Are you ready for it? Let's roll the titles. All right, hello, my name is Matt Hughes, the king of video, and welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, please hit subscribe and the notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Now, this video is all about content ideas. It's one of those things that most people ask me, Matt, I have no idea what to talk about, I'm not that interested in, etc. So, I'm gonna give you this. It's my 30 day content calendar, right? It's free, you can get it in the link in the comments. My 30 day content calendar. It's beautiful, right? My wife designed it. She's a very talented graphical designer and in this content calendar, I'm gonna run through it for you now. I'm gonna pick some, I'm gonna read them all out for you and I'll pick a few out to explain um, a bit, little bit more about them. But it's really made for business owners, entrepreneurs, mentors, coaches, that kind of thing. If you're running an online business, these content ideas are great for Facebook Lives as conversation starters. Facebook Lives, YouTube videos, pre-recorded videos, it's entirely up to you really. Uh, I don't really give you any guidance on how you're going to use them, but they are great for conversation, conversation starters. So let's run through a few of them right now and I'll explain a little bit more. Okay, so if you can weave in some stories into these content ideas, you're going to win, right? You must give some stories and some context around who you are. And if you do these, all of these for 30 days, I promise you more people will engage with you, will be attracted to you and your business, your product or your service. So this is just 33 content ideas, not 33, that's just my accent, 33 content ideas for you. So let's get started. Favorite part of my job. So with this one, you can talk about the best part of your job and you can talk about what your actual job is. So you're subtly telling people what you do when you're just talk, talking about the favorite part of your job. Don't forget to ask them, what's the favorite part of your job? The next one is a story about success in my business. Again, this is great for you because you're gonna promote some success in your business. It might be success personally to you, but using a client's success is always good as well. Uh, or you could just show off about things that you've done that are great for your business, right? Success in your business. The next one then is all about my aspirations in business. Aspirations is just you showing people where you want to get to. Where, where do you want to go with your business? This gives other people a chance to share their aspirations as well. You'll notice throughout this, I'm, I'm letting you know that, that there's all ways in which they can engage with you. Don't forget to ask them to engage. The next one is someone I look up to in business and life. This is a great opportunity for you to tag in somebody that you look up to, someone you aspire to in business and life. Uh, again, a great chance for you to get in front of their audience by tagging them in. Uh, don't abuse this one too much, but certainly if you're bigging them up, if you're giving them some praise and saying that you aspire to be them, I'm sure it will be very much appreciated. The next one is a really great one. It's, I didn't know I'd be doing this in business. This is really a good opportunity to moan. Everybody likes a good moan. And I promise you, other people will engage with this if you ask them, what did you not expect to be doing? Like for my example is admin. Admin and finances, you know. I knew I'd be working with money, but I didn't know I'd be doing accounting uh, and bookkeeping, right, they're the things. Next one is a great client testimonial and why it worked out. So you could get some, you could bring someone in for this one. Uh, again, if they've given you a written testimonial or something like that, you could tag them into the testimonial. Again, it puts you in front of their audience. This one is really purely story-based. It's a highlight of your career in business. So if you're just getting started, you might talk about the career you had before, or if you've been in business a while, you might talk about the ups and downs of business. But this is a brief overview of your career and your uh, journey in business. Great opportunity to share that with your audience. And, and I'll tell you something now, when you share those kind of behind the scenes, sort of the past stuff that we often forget about the journey that we've been on, uh, people really uh, get behind that and really look, they're really interested in how you got to where you are right now. This one's a great one, you can use it many times. It's fantastic advice that I got today. And you might create this advice if you didn't receive any fantastic advice today. It might be something that you read, 
but sharing some fantastic advice that you got today is a great way to get other people to engage and say, what's the best thing you've heard? What's the best bit of advice you've got as well? Uh, favorite inspirational quote and why you see this a lot in business, people sharing inspirational quotes, but maybe just pick a particular one and say why, not just sharing it and sharing the image like most people do, but tell them why it's good for you. What, what made the difference for you? The next one is the last book I read and why. Again, great opportunity to share the book. Ask people what they're reading, what's in their Audible, all that kind of good stuff. Do they read? Uh, so the last book I read and why. Next one's a really good one, nothing to do with business at all. This is the film you can watch on repeat. I've got many of these ones. And again, great place to start, great opportunity to have a conversation around this particular topic, but nothing to do with business. This is just people getting to know a little bit more about you uh, behind the scenes. Fun fact about your business and life is the next one. This really does give other people the chance to get to know you a bit more. A lot of time we don't want to talk about ourselves that much. Well, everybody loves to talk about themselves, but you don't want to brag, you don't want to tell people too much about yourself. So this is a great opportunity to do that. The next one is another entertainment one. Best binge-worthy series I've watched on your favorite streaming service. Of course, the obvious one is Netflix, but there's others available. So what's the best binge-worthy program that you've watched? And I love this next one. My first job was, now maybe your first job is your business, maybe you had a really great experience with your first job i didn't <laughs> so my first job is definitely a great topic to talk about and most people will have a good story around that as well okay here's one <laughs> you might want to change this one it's why i love live video maybe you do love live video maybe you don't you can change it to why i don't love live video <laughs> maybe change it to why i love copywriting if that's the case but for me, I would definitely do why I love live video and share something around that. And here's a great one, my guilty pleasure. And I've put in here, my guilty pleasure, food, music, that kind of thing. You can come up with whatever you want. Um, music works really well, because often when I, when I say to people, they say, what in music are you into? And I'm like, well, I've got an eclectic taste. I like rock and indie music quite a lot. And they say, why is Taylor Swift on your playlist then? And I'm like, guilty pleasure. All right, let's move on, let's move on. This one's an interesting one because I've put why I stopped my education at, at school, college, university, and I've put why I stopped my education. You could say like, what was the best thing about your education if you went and got a degree? But for me, why I stopped my education, again, I, I talk about it in some detail to share why I maybe moved towards, well, for me it was an apprenticeship, but why I moved towards business and entrepreneurship. So sharing why you stopped or why you completed the education at whatever level you got to. Another great one, which is quite open-ended, is how I overcome the fear of. And for me, I'd talk about live video, but I could talk about other things as well. So why I, why I overcome the fear of is a great topic to get started. The next one is what success really means for me. And I've also put there what success really means for my family. So talking about me or you know you, you personally or your family, like what does it, what benefit does it have to your, to your family as a whole? And then the next one is a discount or promo for your product or service. Don't forget to ask people to buy for your product and service. Uh, I love this because most people just forget about it. Well, I don't wanna to be too salesy. No, you've got to make sure they know about your products and services. So make sure you put out some kind of discount or promo for your product and service. Next one is all about a holiday memory, what it means to you. So you can use your memories in, in Facebook, for example, for this, but sharing something about downtime, holidays, that kind of thing. We're not getting a lot of that at the moment. So sharing something about that would be great. A good, great conversation starter. Next one is why we did or didn't have children. Again, it's a personal topic, but you can talk about that and it doesn't talk about business. It invites people that maybe did or didn't have children or might want to or might not want to have children and why and to talk about that in an open and, and constructive way. So that's a great one. How I got this scar. I've got a little uh, birthmark on my hand. I've got a scar on my thumb. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy about it. I was washing the pots and I managed to cut open my thumb. So you can share a story about your scars and where they come from. Might be, might have some weird and wonderful, interesting story about it. Hey, look, you know, we're through most of this list now. I've got a few more left to go, 
but just know that they're not all business related. Like people want to get to know you as a person, they want to understand what's what makes you you, because when they're making the choice whether to buy from you or not, they want to know that you're a good person, that you your values are the same as theirs, and it doesn't matter what you do and who you are and how you behave, there's people that will uh, align to your values, your morals and ethics and all that kind of stuff. And you've got to share the insides of, of what it makes you you, especially if you're running a personal brand. Next one, a great one is my morning routine. So everybody has a morning routine, even if your routine is chaos, <laughs> that's still a morning routine. Most people have a morning routine and most people want to talk about theirs because they think theirs is the best or maybe theirs, they think theirs is a bit of a mess. Like people definitely want to share that and talk about that. Uh, the next one is this year has been, well I created this content calendar way before uh, this past year. So that wasn't why I put that on there, but a great way to do that. Most people wait till the end of the year and they talk about the year uh, with the new year coming in, but actually you can talk about that anytime. And you can say this year to date has been like this, or I'm looking forward to the next six months because it's this. Next one, choose a hobby to discuss. So what's your favorite hobby? You can talk about it. Maybe there's things you don't, people don't know that you have a, as a hobby. Again, you're inviting people in to talk about their hobbies. Make sure you do ask that question. Another one you can do is an interview or hang out with a friend. So a lot of time when people are doing interviews and podcasts, they're inviting people to talk about business and that kind of thing. But maybe you could just have an open conversation with a friend and sort of invite people to listen to that conversation and use one of the other topics perhaps to start the conversation. Or you could talk about them all. Imagine if you had a conversation, an interview with somebody and you talked about all these different topics. What a wonderful insight to uh, you as as a human being. Uh, okay, next one is why family is important to me and why I prioritize them. Uh, do you prioritize your family? I hope so. Uh, you can talk about why it's important to you and what that means in terms of your day-to-day -day business. How do you how you run life, how you, uh, what your purpose is in life, all that kind of stuff. Most people, family is, is part of that. Next one is what motivates you the most? And I, we could relate that to the previous one with family, but there might be other things that motivate you. That, that keep you going, that that you have a purpose and passion for your business or your personal life as well, and that keeps you motivated. So a great topic. And then the last one, by no means least, is things I do to maintain my happiness. A great example of that for me is I play Xbox. I play Xbox, it lets me chill out and it keeps me happy as well. So that's it, that's the 30 days, 30 topics that you can use in 30 days that would really help you. And if you want to grab this downloadable, it is available for free on my website. The link is in the description. My name is Matthew Hughes, the King of Video. I hope you found this useful. If you have found it useful, do give me a thumbs up uh, and let me know which one of those topics you're gonna go and start with first. And of course, if you find it useful, please do share it on the socials. You know, these topics I think would be great for entrepreneurs, business owners, coaches, mentors, online, online businesses mainly. So I'd very much appreciate it if you shared them. All right, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.